What's up, y'all? Y'all good? Listen, everything I'm saying in this video is in my opinion. I'm not making any kind of claim or rendering any judgment. I'm merely reporting my opinions of the situation. The Copyright Act of 1976, Section 107, allows fair use of this topic I'm about to discuss in my commentary. Okay? So, did y'all hear about the conversation between Carlos and Dr. Heavenly about channels being struck? You know, they talked about it on their Messy Monday discussion about marriage and medicine. It's right at the beginning. Well, I'm going to tell y'all what was said. And then we're going to talk about it. Because see, we don't know who's striking who and who doing what. So I chose not to put the recording over here, the soundbite or whatever. So I'm just going to tell y'all what they said, right? So when they get ready to get into the, into reviewing marriage to medicine, Dr. Heavenly says, is there anything you want to say before we start? And it's the way that she said it and how he was looking. I was like, you know what? I feel like. They probably already discussed this and said, when we get started, you say this and I'm going to say this and you say this. That's just how it felt to me. That's just my opinion, y'all. But she was like, you know, is there anything that you want to say? And he's like, oh, well, look. And before he can get into what he was about to say, she says, well, let's clear some things up. Now, Carlos, I don't know if I should say this or not, but I know it's not true. So I'm going to put it out there. You ain't striking nobody's channels, is you? They keep emailing me and texting me about you striking people channels. So clean it up. Tell them people you ain't striking nobody channel. People put stuff out there and they believe it. Then he just sitting up there looking so confused and shocked that he can't believe she's saying this. I'm like, man, straighten your face up. You know what's going on. Stop acting like you just don't have a clue. Like this is just such a surprise to you. Get to what you got to say, please. So he says... Well, exactly, because listen, you know how this industry works. They want to believe the worst about you because they want to say like, "Ooh, we got something on him. I do not strike content creator content. So Dr. Heavenly chimes in and says it would make sense because it builds you up, right? And he responds and says, I just sit up here and said to you guys in nauseam. That content creators and bloggers are the reason why our shows are successful. My raindrops know that at the end of the day, these people out there who want to believe, there's people out there who want to believe the worst about me. Now, what I will say is, I did a live podcast with Melody, Dr. Melody Cherie Rogers. I recorded it because I was going to drop it on my YouTube channel. Unfortunately, a few people uploaded my paid for podcast on their channels. You get what I'm saying? Then Dr. Heavenly says, oh, before you could drop it. To which Carlos responds, before I could drop it. When I drop my podcast interviews on Tuesdays, everybody takes it. Everybody takes it. And I, do, I don't care. It helps me promote it. So what happened was we saw a few people who uploaded my entire podcast interview and I, I'm going to upload it. I'm actually going to upload it next Tuesday. Then Dr. Heavily asked him, how could they have got your podcast? How could they have gotten the whole thing? So he holds up his phone to demonstrate and says, because people, instead of enjoying the show, people were doing this the whole, the whole two hours. The whole two hours, they, the whole two hours, and they uploaded it. And that is what the issue was. Again, doesn't that make sense? You can't, you can't record Marriage to Medicine and upload it on your YouTube channel and not expect NBC Universal to strike it and say, guys, if you want to talk about this show, do that. So that's all it was. But of course, someone took that and said, Carlos is a hater. He's striking black people who are blogging. He, he, he's striking people who talk about him. If I would have striked everybody who talks about me, I wouldn't have a job. All y'all do is talk about me. And let's be clear. I'm not mad at it. But, but, but there you go. Again, again, that's the truth. People ran with it and tried to make it seem like I'm this horrible person and that's not the case. End quote. Now, here is my issue 
with what he said. When he got to talking about somebody up, he, they saw a few people who uploaded the whole two hours of the podcast and he was going to put it on his YouTube channel. Now, I didn't see anybody who uploaded the whole two hours. It could have happened. I'm just saying I didn't see it. Now, where the gaslighting for me comes in is with him now saying he was going to put it on his YouTube channel. And when Dr. Heavenly asked how did they get the whole podcast, he said because they were just sitting up there recording for the whole two hours instead of enjoying the show. Now, here's the thing. At the podcast, when it first got started and he came out on the stage with his, yes, hey, y'all, twisted roll his little butt out there on that stage. Then he brought out Melody. Not one time in the beginning of that podcast did Carlos say, I am going to put this on my channel. So I'm asking you guys not to record this. But here's the thing. If you choose to record this podcast and upload it on your platforms like YouTube, I'm striking your page. I am going to strike your channel. Carlos did not say that. They did not ask people to put their phones down until he got ready to bring out the so-called special guest. That's when he brought this man onto the stage. I guess maybe he was a producer or something. And that man said something along the lines of last season, we had to cut a lot of stuff out of the show because people were going back telling what was happening on the show. And the person they was telling it to, you know, was putting it out there. So we had to cut a lot of stuff out. So if y'all don't want that to happen this season, we are asking you, please put your phones away. Do not record and do not talk about what we're about to discuss that is when they told people to put their phones away not the way carlos is saying it it did not happen like that i was there it did not happen that way okay so you're not about to tell me that after y'all ask people not to have their phones out and you saw somebody sitting with their phones out that you did not send one of your people over there to tell them either you put your phone away or you have to get out. You're not about to make me believe that. And I feel like you are gaslighting us with your answer. And that's what I mean when I say when there is a question asked of Carlos that requires him to respond with some depth. He will dance around the question and come back with something else. Don't do that. Say it with your chest. That's all you got to do. Say it with your chest. Stand in it. When Dr. Heavenly asks you, now Carlos, I know you didn't strike these people challenge. Let these folks know that you didn't. Did you do that, Carlos? You were supposed to say, and did. I sure did. Because that was my paid for podcast that I was planning to put on my YouTube channel, which I told them that at the beginning of the podcast. And since we know you did not say that at the beginning of the podcast or at all at the podcast, because you said that this part of the so-called special guest was going to be on the show, you were supposed to say and did. And the reason I did is because of this, that, and the other. My second issue with what he said is when he said to Dr. Heavenly, now you know that you can't uh, record marital medicine and don't think NBC Universal is going to come over here and be like, now if you want to talk about the show, then just talk about it. But don't put the whole thing out here. My issue with that is you didn't even do that, Carlos. You did not even reach out to the people who pages y'all struck to say, hey, if y'all want to talk about it, talk about it. But you're going to have to take this down because we're planning on putting this out on such and such a date. If you don't take it down, we're going to have to strike your channel. You didn't even do that. And my third issue is if your concern or your frustration was that people put out your podcast 
If you had an issue with that, why is it that you didn't strike this certain content creator who was putting scenes out about the show before the episode aired? Can you speak on that? That doesn't make sense to me. So if you're going to say something, say it with your chest and stop with this. People just want to think the worst of me. People just want to dislike me. People don't, people don't want to do that. I don't have no problem with Carlos. None. Like in the way of hating him. Want to think the worst of him. No. I don't like some of his ways. Like I don't like when he dance around the question. I don't like that type of stuff. Just stick. That's what make people think the worst of you. Because they feel like you're not being honest. You don't stand in what you say that you stand in. You don't. That's my only issue when it comes to Carlos. Stand in it. Just like when Mel said to you that she was mad at you. She had stopped talking to you. She felt like the chaos was being funded. And she was like, you know, she was crying everything. And you was like, no, no. Just, just say what you need to say. This is the place. And then you told her that you did not know what was going on. That was a lie. And you know it was. You're not going to tell me that you see comments above people saying what's happening on the show. Comments below people saying what's... You're not going to tell me you seeing all the other comments. But not the comments about how much of a deviant and disgrace and horrible individual that Martell was being on the show. You're not going to say that and think we're going to believe that, partner. It ain't going to happen. That's all we want you to do. We want you to keep it a hundred. We want you to say it with your chest. Say what you feel. Because if you already feel like people going to hate you anyway, let them hate you anyway. But I'm going to say, yes, I did. I did strike their channels. And it shouldn't be hard, Carlos. You got to come with your Joe Clark energy. You got to be like, I did strike their channel. Because they already got put out at the podcast because we asked them not to record it or upload it. But they did it anyway. So I was like, Joe Clark. I put them back out. And that's all I'm going to say. <laughs> that's, how, that's how you have to come with it, Carlos Man. You going to have to step your game up, bro. You have to be like, I struck their channels. And I did. I did. Because I paid for that podcast and I was planning on putting that podcast on my YouTube channel. So I felt like they were taking money out of my pockets. So since they were taking money out of my pocket, I'm taking money out of their pocket. That's all you had to say. Believe it or not, folks will res would have respected you saying it like that. And be like, hey, hey, he said what he said. <laughs> I mean, that's his stuff. <laughs> he can do what he want to do. But what you just did when you was talking to Dr. Heavenly, that's the issue. That's the issue that people have with you. And if anybody else was at that, at that podcast, they know that when you came out, you did not say, please do not record. Y'all did not say that until you were bringing out those people who were supposed to be the special guests. And all of us sitting up there like, why are they here? What kind of connection do they have to Melody? Like, what was the point? Like, what was the reason we didn't really understand that? But I know one thing. When you go to a Kevin Hart show, they let you know that phones are not allowed at the show. And they're going to give you that yonder bag and you're going to put your phone in it. And you can't unlock that bag until you go to a designated area and put your phone on that unlock thing. And you can open it and get your phone now. Do what you want to do. And you got to put your phone right back in that bag. Or else they're going to put you out. If they see you with a phone, if you had a second phone and they, you didn't tell them. And they see you, you getting put out. It is what it is. Melody is so... This, this like on such a whole other level that I could see if she didn't want the mimosas with Melody that she's having on March 30th. If she didn't want that recorded and as fancy as that place looked that she's having the event at, I 
I can see men coming out in tuxedos with their white gloves holding the silver platter with the yonder bags and say, uh, this table 25, we need each guest to put their phone in a bag. And when it's over and recording is allowed, we will bring your phone back to this table. I can see her doing something like that because male does things on a whole other level. But hey, that's what I have to say about that part of the conversation. I'm going to come back and talk about what they had to say about the Expo. Expo. Uh, we're going to talk about that next. But how did y'all, if y'all heard it, how did y'all feel about what Carlos said? I just felt like Carlos was not being honest. Just stand in it. Say what you have to say. Did you strike the people channels? I did. Because you can't say you didn't when people were posting screenshots with your name on it. And if that's not you, I would think you would want to do a little investigating to figure out who impersonating you. Mm hmm. But yeah, that's all I got to say, y'all. Please like, share, subscribe. Liking the video pushes me up the algorithm. I really appreciate it. I appreciate all the new subscribers too, y'all. Y'all come on up here to the family, y'all. And look, I'll talk to y'all later. All right.